Mega Sim here. Hopefully you're doing good. Glossop Line is coming out tomorrow and we have early access to this route. So what we're going to do is we're going to open those doors. There we go. Doors are now open. And let's get this train on the road. Class 323 Northern trains railway whatever you want to call it because remember last year was it last year or was it the year before the government took over northern trains the last time we saw a 323 was on the birmingham cross city with the west midlands railway livery but now we have it on northern and it looks pretty epic we've got hadfield and glossop and then all the way to manchester piccadilly for this first look on this new route today should we get into the cab because we need to uh set this thing up let's um go to that and go to that just so you know this is a beta version so this look is actually putting the key in there i don't know why it is something i have mentioned but don't worry because we are going for it today Let's do that outside. Oh yeah, before we do, let's, um, let's have a nice shot of the outside as well. Here we go. There. Okay. Let's get going. So we are at Hadfield. And we need to cross over to Glossop before taking our journey, as you can see on here. Oh, well, it's, see this journey. It's in two parts. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. So the Glossop, or Hadfield to Glossop, Hodder, Glossop to Hadfield is part one or part two, depending on what way you go. So it's Hadfield to Glossop, and then a new service from Glossop to Manchester Piccadilly. And then vice versa. Oh, vice versa. <laughs> Oh yeah, that sounds good, doesn't it? Okay, so we should be uh, getting up to 40 in a minute. But we can't do that for long, because we've got to go down to uh, 10. So we'll speed up a little bit and then we'll start slowing down as we uh, get to Glossop because it is a slow bit of the route because it's more of like a triangle um, where we kind of bear to the left but if you bear right you'll then go to Manchester Piccadilly but I don't know if um, there are any services that actually go from Hadfield straight to Manchester Piccadilly I don't think there is. But as I said, this is my first go on this. Um, I have done a bit of uh, beta testing on the Xbox, and that's been pretty good. Um, but today we have the embargo that is a day early, which is great. Should have slowed down a little earlier there. So, there we go. There's... Um, Try to remember the name of the station. I'm thinking Guide Bridge, but I may be wrong. In my head, it's Guide Bridge. No, Dinting. Why? Why would I think it was Guide Bridge anyway? Um, so yeah, done some scenarios. Had some fun on them. As you know, there are two brand new scenario types that are on this route, um, and that is the on guard scenario. Um, and that allows you to 
become the guard and you check tickets and you open and close the doors and you press the signal you press the buzzer um, you put the uh, door key in you know you do all of that from the back of the train um, and the other one is the gossip one which um, allows you to take photos of the train on the route and then seeing the results at Manchester Piccadilly so yeah looking forward to doing that um, might do them for today um, we'll see see how much time I've got because um, we've got you know a lot of early access um, a week um, you know we've had um, with this so uh, what is it it's Tuesday today so yeah I've uh, I'm able to do some of this because I'm very busy this weekend um, got a lot of stuff on this weekend so yeah it's um, thank you thank you to dovetail for um, giving us early earlier access because yeah if it was given to me at the weekend for the Monday, Tuesday, I wouldn't have done anything, unfortunately. So yeah, let's um, start getting going into Glossop. So Glossop, the Glossop line is quite an old line uh, for electrification. Um, so one of the first lines for electrification back in the day. Um, so you will notice some of the gantries over will be very old school. Um, so we'll see that throughout this journey. We'll see a change on the, well not the catenary because the catenary is more of this, that bit. Um, we're not going to see a difference in that because that's all going to be modernish. But it's it's the gantries going over that will be the older style, and that we'll see. What's weird though is look, there's um, the gantries go all the way over to there. So this used to be railway line potentially. Are these some of the older ones? Possibly. So now we are, oh, come on, speed up a little bit. Okay, coming into Glossop now. I always make the mistake, so I haven't this time. I am on a custom weather of cloudy. I'm not on dynamic weather because every time I'm like, yeah, this is lovely. And then it's chucking it down with rain at the end. So thankfully I'm not doing that today. go right up there we go okay doors are open the ra switch is on uh we'll go to off for that one and that one ah okay bronze oh we got a goal nice okay off there we go Okay, so let's have a look at the route map. So we've just done Hadfield to Glossop, and now we're going to do Dinting, Broadbottom, Hattersley, Godley, Newton for Hyde, Flowery Field, Guy Bridge, Fairfield, Gorton, Ashbury, Zardwick, and finally Manchester Piccadilly. Let's go down the other end. Okay. Get out of my seat. That one. That one. That one. 
off. Day head. Okay. Close these doors. Okay, so this is Glossop. So Hadfield and Glossop are in Derbyshire. In Derbyshire. Um, so it's nice to be able to see another Derbyshire station, a few stations being formed. As you know, we've got Peak Forest, we've got Midland Main Line in Derbyshire, and now we've got Hadfield and Glossop. Go down here. That's through here. Oh, nice. Have a look at this station. Oh, am I stuck? Yeah, I'm stuck behind the cars. There we go. Yeah, there's this. Oh, is that B and M or something? Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look now. It'd be nice if I came off the app. <laughs> Just. <laughs> oh, that's an old. Uh old uh, scene that I've got on there. Apologies for that. But it does remind you that uh, we do have our... Oh. We do have our um, social media and things like that on there. And it is a B&M store. Go and look on Google Maps. Just outside the station to the left is a B&M store. Hence the uh, the logo on the side. <laughs> Love it. So if you haven't never been to a B&M store, you've missed something. So they're actually all over, um, all over the UK now. But I remember when home bargains of B&M were kind of up here in the Midlands and up north. But now they're everywhere. Um, but yeah, they're, they're a really cool place. A lot of stuff, you know, they're kind of um, not almost sell by date. They they have a lot of good stuff, but they also have stuff that's like on clearance where supermarkets may not have sold them, so they're selling them. So they have some weird and wonderful things in there as well, which is quite cool. But yeah, hence the uh, twelve, you know, that spinning sort of logo. It's a B and M logo. I was right. Right, getting out to need now need to slow down. It was there. Why was it so uh, late? Not sure. Anyway, Dinting is this next stop. We are running late though. So we are going to need to pick up some time in a minute as we head to our next station. I'm going to not speed, but I'm going to get up to speed quickly. We are late big time. So we do have this station here, this platform. Over the bridge to Broadbottom. Oh yes, Broadbottom. Where do you live? Oh, I live in Broadbottom. Manchester, I live in Broadbottom. <laughs> so 
so hopefully this uh, video and other videos for today um, will help you in your decision because that's kind of what it's for the ambassadors are able to you know we get the DLC for free and um, we get to showcase it we show what we like and what we don't like we're not with we're, we're not biased there's no bias involved um, with what we do um, because that's not fair on you and that's not fair on us either when I really like a route I will tell you I really like a route and when I don't I don't but yeah we're able to showcase it um, and you know be able to look at the news articles be able to look at the routes be able to uh, feed back into uh, dovetail as well with our contacts so if there are any issues or problems or good feedback bad feedback we let dovetail know but we don't work for dovetail we do not work for them we don't get paid by dovetail we just um, receive money through the YouTube ad revenue and membership and sponsorship and things like that but no, Dovetail don't do that. I've had a sponsored video with Dovetail. That was when uh, Rush Hour came out. That was fun. Right, so we haven't slowed down to 40 miles an hour before we come into broad bottom. Well, say that and I'm going over the speed limit. Look at that viaduct, that's nice. Yeah, we are running about 30 seconds late at the moment. open those doors let's go now we can go 60 so let's try and do that So the maximum speed of this train is 90 miles an hour and it actually has a red line on there as well just to really prove that you shouldn't be going over 90 miles an hour in this train. With West Midlands Railway they are replacing the 323s but I believe they are going to Northern. So they'll be in these colours and continuing in the Manchester, Greater Manchester region around here uh, being used which is great. It's good to see that the 323s are still going strong. Okay. Is Hattersley.
Oh, uh, we've gone over. Try to get back uh, to time to, to schedule. God leaves the next stop. Oh, I've got my cup of tea here. I forgot. Oh yeah, still nice and hot. What's your drink of choice for today's video? As I said, mine. Cup of tea. I totally forgot. This station doesn't exist. It's an old station. I made that mistake last time. I thought it was the station. open those doors. Whatever you do, don't open this and press open when you're going because it will uh, go into an emergency stop. Just so you know. Look at that. Get going. Hey, Newton for Hyde is the next stop. This is a nice station. Support local, shop locally. Yes, guys, shop local. That's what you need to do. Oh, newspapers. Hey! Can we go down there? Oh, we can. Ooh. Oh, fancy. Shop local! You see loads of them on uh, Northern. Anyway, right. Uh, oh, no, not that one. Not that one. That one. There we go. Let's get going.
Oh, Flowery Field. What a name. What a nice name for a station. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I've got over. Ah, never mind. Right. I want to come down here because... ...of this. Ha <laughs> Look at them! I say. Alright. Let's get back in. Guide bridge. Guide bridge to the next stop. Oh, that feels a little greyed out there. Huh. That's all dark, but that's kind of like... Yeah, that's don't look right. I mentioned that. some track. Nice. due to the uh, speed change on here that we've uh, had that warning. Alright, just me with my mouse again. Okay, here's Guide Bridge. Oh, there's a dead end there. So three, two, three. Oh, coming off a bit early, aren't we? Oh well, never mind. Okay, let's get going. Looking forward to seeing Manchester Piccadilly in all its glory. That's why I'm going this way round so we can have a little walk round of Manchester Piccadilly afterwards. Ash Breeze is next.
weird, didn't it? It was very weird. Bye, Fairfield. to make sure we stay at the right speed. We don't want to be speeding on here, do we? Is there another station we're going through? Morton. Just check. We do have the rear lights on, don't we? Yeah. Ooh, some freight. I like it. I like a bit of freight. Well, I don't. I prefer passenger, but I like seeing freight on the line. sounds over the points there. <laughs> We're a little early. Oh, just noticed. Should have stopped back there. So we're in Ashbury's. We've got to wait here for a little while. We've got the planters. Lovely. Oh, we can't go down there. We can come up here. A nice building over there. No, oh, if only. If only we could like fix those lights or something. Whoa! Not good. So yeah, where are we? So we're at Ashbury's. Oh, okay. So look, we've literally got Ardwick and Manchester Piccadilly. Are we stopping at Ma oh, Brit Ardwick? No, we're going straight to Manchester Piccadilly after this. Let's 
good. Grab lights. Fan. Heat. Vent. Nice. going. Manchester Piccadilly in 1.4 miles. Should be seeing uh, depots and things like that as soon as we then go on the West Coast Mainline main track. Usually where the Novas, Transpan and Express 185s are kind of all stored. Green, green signal. This is it, West Coast Main Line. Is this here? Oh, we're at platform number two, so we're quite over on the right. We're quite far over on the right instead of the left. But the 323 does go to platform 2, it goes to quite a few of these platforms as well. Keep an eye out for other videos today, showcasing the Manchester Piccadilly to Glossop and Hatfield line. If you do like it, give it a thumbs up, let me know that you care. Comment, let me know, um, or chat. If, uh, if you are going to be getting this route tomorrow, let me know. It would be good to hear. And what are you getting it on? What platform? And what console have you got? It would be great to know. Especially as if, you've, if you're using PS4 or Xbox One S. So, yeah, definitely let me know if you're going to be doing it on that. And uh, also let me know how, that get, how you get on with that as well. Okay, so coming into uh, platform two of Manchester Piccadilly. I know it's rather empty, you know, we'd like to have seen uh, Pendolino, Voyager, things like that, but Novas. But hopefully this is kind of like things to come. We're, we're getting all uh, some big terminus, big major stations in the UK now. So, you know, think of Germany where they've kind of linked, got others link, kind of linked together with trains and things. Hopefully we're going to see this soon with layers, um, with future routes, you never know. OK, 
Okay. Um. What have we got? Yeah, we got we got a goal. Okay, so leave those doors open. Oh, do you know what? I wonder. Will this allow me? It does nice. Not having to put anything in for the uh, for the driver. So we're on platform. Oh, oh done it again. We're on platform two. This is the ten o three to Hadfield. Orderly edge. Orderly edge. So yeah, we've got matches for Piccadilly, so in there is all uh, all the stuff that you would usually see. This is all glass, so you would usually see that. Because they've not implemented it, we're not seeing it. There's quite a few entrances usually on here. And this is where I usually go um, on here, on the Travelators, and then up to Platform 13 and 14. Not sure if it's going to let me go up to Platform 14 and 13. Let's have a look. Hmm. No. Oh, well, three, two, three, going down there. So that means that platform thirteen and fourteen is available. So should we go and have a look? Let's go and have a look. Uh, so the lift should be round here. Nope. Not see a lift. Uh, must, yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh, wow, this is very dark. Up two. No. Okay, Blackpool North, 1002, 1004, Manchester Airport. So I've done this wrong. What should happen, I'm going to remind you, is if you're... Oh, not again. If you're on platform 14, you come down this bit. And the train stops here. Platform 13, you go down those stairs down there. And the train stops down there. So it never actually stops in the same point here and here. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed watch, having a look around Manchester Piccadilly Station as well. Looks very good. I do like the look of it. But no, I will see you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. And also Train Real World. Have a look at that channel as well. Some great stuff coming out on there as too. I will see you on the next video. This is Mega Sim. Out of here. See you soon, guys. Bye.